Within days, one of Oklahoma's most notorious murder mysteries could go from cold case to case closed. 45 years ago next month, three Girl Scouts were brutally murdered at camp. And new technology and decades of work now seem to be pointing in one direction. KOCO's Shelby Montgomery takes us inside this investigation and shows us never before seen files. An empty tent, bloodstained mattresses. Agents arrested Jean Leroy Hart. The state's first two witnesses were former camp counselors. For two days, we've gone over what happened to our child. But still lacking, at least at mid-afternoon, was any hard evidence directly linking Hart to the scene of the crime. The Oklahoma Girl Scouts murder. An unsolved case. Basically, it was the boogeyman story. Three young girls murdered at camp. It was June 12, 1977. The first day at Camp Scott for 8-year-old Lori Farmer, 9-year-old Michelle Gousset, and 10-year-old Denise Milner. The girls assigned to Tent 8, the Kiowa unit. The uh, most secluded campground and the most secluded tent within that, that particular campground. Lori, Michelle, and um, Denise were only three in their tent. One of the other little girls that was supposed to be there had, I think, gotten sick and, and not made it that, that week. After a full day at Camp Scott, the girls were tucked in and put to bed. There was uh, just a lot of activity like that going on and a lot of excitement for the first night of camp. Lori wrote a letter to her family that night and talked about her two new friends that she had made. And then I think they played cards and went, went to sleep. A few hours later, their time at Camp Scott would come to an end. Sometime in the middle of the night, um, someone entered their tent and murdered the three little girls. Their bodies stuffed inside sleeping bags, found by a camp counselor the next morning. We believe Lori and Michelle were probably most likely killed in the tent and that um, Denise was either carried or made to walk to the location where the bodies were found. There was blood on m the mattresses of the first two cots, uh, of the two cots on the left, um, and there was blood on the floor of the tent beside each one of those beds. Found near the bodies, tape and a flashlight. It had a piece of plastic taped over the top of it and the plastic had a little pinhole, so just a very, very little amount of light could come from that flashlight. Inside the flashlight, newspaper. Pages 5 through 12 of section C of the Tulsa World newspaper um, from April 17th, 1977. Three days later, the rest of the Tulsa World found inside this cave near the camp. An investigation linked this man, Leroy Jean Hart, to the murder. At 4.15 p.m. this afternoon, agents of the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation arrested Jean Leroy Hart at a rural residence in the Cookson Hills in southern Adair County. Jean Leroy Hart was brought back to the Mays County Courthouse. For a the year later, the trial hearing. would begin. But again today, as in the past two days, there was no testimony directly linking Jean Leroy Hart with any of that physical evidence. Hart was eventually acquitted. He died a few months later. The case would remain untouched for years. I started looking into the case and realized that um, we had done some DNA evidence in 1989 and nothing since then. In 2010, um, Andrea Fielding, director of criminalistics for OSBI, picked up the case. And with new technologies, they retested evidence collected at the scene. Looked at um, all of the autopsy samples that were submitted from the three victims, as well as um, some of the clothing items and sleeping bag. But Fielding says DNA was too hard to detect. Unfortunately, because the items were collected in 1977 and preservation techniques have changed, collection techniques have changed, and testing techniques have changed. Um, some of the items were not preserved the way they should have been, and so a lot of the items were too degraded to actually get any DNA testing um, or any DNA results. But they were able to get partial DNA profiles from fingerprints on the flashlight and semen on a pillow. They were not able to exclude Jean Leroy Hart as being a contributor to that DNA profile. The other partials connected to the victim. There were none that were um, not linked to somebody known in this case. Now a cold case close to being cracked. As far as the OSBI goes and the evidence that we have, our belief is that Jean Leroy Hart committed the murders. Um, and, and the evidence that we have doesn't exclude him. It doesn't point to anyone else. And so we will close the case that way. Shelby Montgomery, KOCO 5 News.
Now, the decision to close this case will come from the county sheriff, Mike Reed. KOCO has spent weeks putting together a deep dive into this notorious murder.